So here we have iodine. It's, um, it's a, a halogen, but it's quite low in the group of the halogens. So unlike fluorine and chlorine and bromine, it's, it's not a liquid or a gas, it's actually a solid. Okay? But it's a very, very volatile solid, just like some of the materials further on in, in the group. So here, if we take some out, we see it's a, it's a really quite lovely material. Iodine is an element which many people have seen because it's used in solution, a sort of violet coloured solution for treating cuts and <coughs> grazes because it has strong antiseptic um, properties. It's actually purple, but the light doesn't really do it justice, so you can see it looks like a dark grey. But um, as, as it gets warm, it'll actually start to evaporate and sublime. Iodine is an element that is essential to life. If you don't have iodine, you do not develop properly. It's important for the thyroid function. The thyroid is a small um, gland in your neck. And in this area of the UK, uh, which is far away from the sea, um, <coughs> people in the old days suffered from a deficiency of iodine, which made their thyroid gland grow very large. And so they got a disease called goiter, which in this area was known as Derbyshire neck. And nowadays, iodine is added to table salt and so that there are very few people in the UK that have iodine deficiency. So here iodine has lots and lots of different applications. It's used for purification of water, so if you've got water with, an, with a waterborne problem, like perhaps some bacteria, just a couple of crystals of iodine and that really, really neutralizes them and then it, it makes the water really quite much safer. But you can see that it's starting to leave some stains on the paper and this is simply because we're iodinating the paper itself. So I told you earlier on that it's, it's, it's quite volatile. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the iodine across and we're going to put it into this beaker and warm it up slightly from below. For example, if you take tadpoles, the small uh, baby frogs, they will not turn into frogs unless you add iodine to the water. So if you bring on tadpoles up in iodine-free conditions, they cannot develop. So we put the iodine crystals in. And watch what happens. Again, l rather like, um, like, like strontium, that, radi that radioactive iodine was formed by some nuclear reactions. And so one of the things that has happened after serious nuclear incidents like in Chernobyl or in the UK in 1957 in Windscale, that the children were given iodine tablets to take to prevent their bodies absorbing radioactive iodine from the um, environment. Purple crystals of iodine now subliming and becoming more volatile. So that purple colour is really, really good, isn't it? Top job.